What is up you guys? So in this one, I'll be showing you how to use Nemo by NVIDIA, which is a conversational AI toolkit built for researchers working in the domain of automatic speech recognition, natural language processing, and text-to-speech synthesis to build a voice swap of any given audio signal. So let's say you have an audio signal or even more a raw text. You can convert this to a computer-generated audio thanks to NVIDIA's Nemo. I'll also be announcing a GPU giveaway as I did last year, but this time the GPU is NVIDIA's 3080 Ti Founders Edition. Now to be eligible to this giveaway, you'll have to register to attend GTC, which is taking place on March 21st till 24 this year. And so to be eligible, you have to register using the link I provide below. So you click on the link, then you hit register. You provide your email as such, for example, then you give it a certain password, then you authenticate. So by now I should receive an email, you verify, done correctly. And now I'm logging in, um, you enter your first name, last name, um, the organization or company, I'll put YouTube, France, industry, you can choose your industry, just put higher education, academia, job role, put um, researcher. Um, what type of application services are you working on? Well, you can put data science, you choose your own um, domain. I'll put data science, for example, conversational AI, and let's say, um, AR and VR, your gender, I'm a male, agree, save and continue. And there you go. So now you're in the GTC conference, you have your own account, right? And so you can view the catalog, see what sessions to really um, be eligible. You'd have to wait for the GTC to start and join the keynote live stream which will be given by Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. You can also look into the different sessions over here. They've got 964 sessions. So for example, you can filter by what interests you. So for example, if you're interested in women in AI, you've got sessions for women in AI, for example, empowering women in data science go here and you can check my schedule and you can add what interests you as such add to schedule for example you could also check what sessions are happening at certain dates right you've got this one you've got 148 sessions on the 21st of march for example you've got fundamentals of deep learning by jeno lee who's a solutions architect at nvidia uh, you've also got building transformer based natural language processing applications by cheng kuang lee a senior solution architect in nvidia you've got palab maji who's also a so senior solutions architect at nvidia giving a session on fundamentals of deep learning uh, kevin mcfall Master Instructor in Deep Learning Institute DLI by NVIDIA, giving a session on applications of AI for predictive maintenance. You can also filter by primary topics. So for example, if you're interested in computer vision or conversational AI, NLP, you can tick that, see all the sessions related to conversational AI or natural language processing. For example, we've got this session building conversational AI applications by Adam Henrik Grzywakzewski, right? We've got other sessions, for example, Anthony Costa, a senior alliance manager at NVIDIA, um, giving this session. And yeah, that's how you pretty much choose your sessions, okay, at NVIDIA. So prizes will be awarded only to those who register for GTC using the link and attend some sessions. That's very important. You have to attend the session to be eligible for winning the 3080 Founders Edition GPU by NVIDIA. So hope to see you at NVIDIA GTC conference taking place on March 21st till 24th. And I'll personally be attending, watching some sessions. So I hope I'll be seeing you there. So before I start with the Python implementation using NVIDIA's Nemo conversational AI toolkit to build a voice swap model to convert any audio, given audio to computer generated one, it's really worth spending a bit of time to talk about what NVIDIA's Nemo actually is. First of all, here, here's the GitHub for NVIDIA's Nemo, and here's the official website with a really nice video. Um, so NVIDIA's Nemo is an extremely powerful toolkit when it comes to building your own state-of-the-art models for conversational AI. So it really has a very well typical conversational AI pipeline, which consists of text-to-speech synthesis, so TTS, automated speech recognition, ASR, and natural language processing, NLP. You can use a lot of pre-trained AI models uh, provided to us by NVIDIA for free. 
For example, you've got the Jasper 10 by five um, pre-trained model. You've got the QuartzNet, those are for ASR. You've also got the NLP, which are BERT based, uh, BERT by Google. And you've got the TTS such as WaveGlow and Tacotron. Um, we'll actually be using NVIDIA's Nemo to build our own voice swap Python program, which simply reads a given audio waveform um, any audio signal you've got and extracts the text from it using ASR. So we'll be using QuartzNet to convert the audio signal to raw text. And then given that raw text, we'll generate a spectrogram, which is then passed to a vocoder to generate a computer generated audio. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me call this notebook Nemo Voice Swap right and before we start let's make sure we're running on a gpu right now to check which gpu you're running on just hit exclamation mark nvidia dash smi dash l as such wait for it and as you can see we're running on a tesla k80 right now next what we're going to do is install nemo using a python pip install git plus and just pass the following link as such and let's define a branch, let's say the latest branch that is 1.7.0. Give this a bit of time to install. Once done, as you can see, is it's installing and this highly depends on your internet speed. So once done, let's start by importing our packages. So we'll start by import Nemo, then we'll import Nemo.collections. The ASR that is for speech recognition, automatic speech recognition as a Nemo underscore ASR. We'll also import Nemo.collections.nlp for natural language processing as Nemo underscore NLP. And we'll also import Nemo.collections.tts that stands for text to speech synthesis. And finally, I'd want to import IPython so that we can listen to our audio. So once done, let's start by downloading our audio sample. So for my audio sample, I've got the following um, online sample. I'll just be linking it over here. And if you want to access this, there you go. This well, is how it sounds. Well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. So this is what we want to, you know, get into Python right here. So I'll use ipython.display.audio so that we can make sure we've got our audio sample in our environment. So once done. Well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. Okay, so now that we have our audio, we're going to start by instantiating pre-trained Nemo models, which we'll be using in this Python script to generate our voice swapped computer generated audio. So we'll start by, you know, using um, QuartzNet for speech recognition. This will be our speech recognition model. So we'll use Nemo underscore ASR dot models dot encode decode CTC model, right? And we'll be using from pre-trained, right? And we'll pass it the model name, which will be our stt underscore english underscore quartznet 15 by 5 transformer we'll be running this on cuda since we're using a gpu now next what i'll be using as well is a spectrogram generator and for that i'll be using nemo underscore tts dot models dot fast pitch model and from pre-trained i'll pass it the model name which will be the TTS underscore English underscore fast pitch. Likewise, I'll be running this on CUDA. And last but not least, I'll be using a vocoder model, which will take the spectrogram and produce an actual audio. So I'll also be using Nemo underscore TTS dot models dot high fi GAN model from pre-trained I'll pass it the model name, which will be TTS underscore hi fi GAN. And likewise, I'll be running this on CUDA. So as a summary, we'll first use QuartzNet to load our audio samples and convert it to text. Then to convert the text back to audio, we will actually need the spectrogram. So the spectrogram generator 
will take the text as an input and produce a spectrogram. Lastly, I'll be using the vocoder to take the spectrogram, which was outputted by the spectrogram generator, and produce the actual audio. So let me run this and give it a bit of time to run. Now that we have our models, we're ready to convert our audio sample to text. So for that, I'll be loading my files, which are contained within the audio sample. Okay. I'll define the raw text, which is empty, as well as the text itself. Now for that, I'll be looping over our zip files to get the file name and the transcription, which are contained in the zip. We'll be looping over the zip files and the quartz net dot transcribe and I'll be passing the files as input to this transcribe function of quartznet. Now the raw text will be contained within each transcription and lastly I'll unwrap the raw text as such. I'll get the first statement and then I will print what we have in the text. Let's see what we get right here. So we'll run this and we see what we had listened to in the audio. So what, well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like, likely the old portrait. I One note here is that I didn't use punctuation. You could easily use it using uh, the NLP models, which is contained in the Nemo NLP. And in particular, you can use the punctuation capitalization model and then pass it the model, for example, the, the distal BERT model in punctuation provided by NVIDIA. Now, after we have our raw text, we're ready to combine our TTS models to go directly from text to audio. So for that, I'll be creating a new function called text to audio function, where I'll pass the text. And first we'll parse the text using spectrogram underscore generator dot parse pass it the text. The next we get our spectrogram and is spectrogram generator dot generate spectrogram and pass it the tokens, which is the parse text. And lastly, we'll get the audio using the vocoder that we had defined. And we will use the function that is convert spectrogram to audio and pass it the spectrogram as input. Lastly, I'll be returning this as audio, so I'll do audio dot to CPU dot detach and dot numpy. Numpy, numpy, depends how you want to pronounce it, right? So run this, we have defined our function, and now let's start seeing what we get as results. So first I have my original audio sample, ipython dot display dot audio, pass it the audio um, sample as such. Well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. And now we can, you know, synthesize our audio sounds when using text without punctuation. So, of course, it would be better with punctuation, but I'll do it without punctuation. So I, Python, the same as I did before, dot display, dot audio, will run the function text to audio and I'll pass it the raw text and define a certain sampling frequency that is 22,050 hertz as such. Well, I don't wish to see it any more observed Phoebe turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. And this is the text to audio without punctuation. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. In this one, we showed a simple Nemo example of how to swap, right? How to swap given audio samples with a given voice into a computer generated one with the help of Nemo. So what we did is that we loaded our models, automatic speech recognition model by Nemo, the NLP model by Nemo and the text to speech synthesis collection by Nemo. We saw the original samples, how they sound like the original audio samples. And then we trained our models using QuartzNet got our spectrogram generator and a vocoder. Then we unwrapped our text. We got the raw text. We created a function to use the models 
first to parse the text, get the parsed text, then generate our spectrogram, and then finally convert that spectrogram into audio. And we saw how the computer generated audio sounds like. Well, I don't wish to see it any more, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. So thanks for watching. In case you found this lecture beneficial, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel so as to help my channel. And don't forget the giveaway. Uh, all you need to do is register to NVIDIA's GTC conference using the link below. Attend any given session of your choice. And this will give you a higher chance to win the RTX 3090 Founders Edition by NVIDIA's GPU. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you then.